welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed, everybody. I'm Color Flority, and we have made it to the Rolling Ridge, we're at the western side. I'm sorry, the eastern side. I don't have my directions right, apparently. So, basically this episode we're going to be playing a lot of minigames for the Gorons, and yeah, it'll be interesting. So you might be wondering how in the world we could possibly get to that cave, and well, the answer is, we can't. Not right now, anyways. We'll need a future dungeon item, and I'll, we'll have to come back after that. So we do not want to be in this area. What we want to do is go back down to the base. And whenever you get stuck in this area, you can just talk to the one, uh, like, Goron Seer. Where he's like, oh, I can see, like, what you need to do next. So that's kind of nice. Move it, Deku! Move it, Deku! Is it pronounced Deku or Deku? I've heard people say it both ways. I always thought it was Deku. Yeah, sword beams can one-hit KO those guys. So Dry Falls is that way. We don't want to go that way, though. Hey, dude. I can see your destiny. Go on, spirit, show me all. Amazing! I see you riding in a strange vehicle and shooting things all around you. Alright, that's the target carts. Oh, the switch hook never gets old. Target carts are this way. Oh no, it's a wilted sprout. Also, there's a Deku in that rock right up there. Alright, well that's one way to do it. That's a bad way to do it, though. <laughs> Ooh, gash a plot. Hey, dude! Oh, a stranger has spoken to me! I must teach you something good! Will you listen? Yes. My brother lives in the cave near the free peaks of the Subrosian Volcanoes in Holodrum's land of Subrosia. If you tell him my secret, he'll give you something good, okay? Okay. Here goes! Blah blah blah. You got that? Yep. Say hi to my brother. Alright, well, we can't do anything else in the present, so we're gonna have to travel back in time. Fortunately, we've got a nice little teleporting place right here. I guess one of the reasons I like the Oracle of Seasons map better than the Oracle of Ages map is Oracle of Ages is a, just a lot of mountain peaks, and not a lot of flatlands. Oracle of Seasons, however, has a good variety of everything. We Gorons love games! There are plenty of places to play around here! There's a nice chest up there we can get. There's a big waterfall here on Rolling Ridge. You should see it at least once. And all this work gets us a single Gacha Seed. Not great, but it could give us a potion, so I will gladly take it. Boom, bum, bum, bum. Alright, top of Rolling Ridge East. So we could jump down there. But I'd much rather blow this up instead. Woo! We got a hundred rupees! I bet you're thrilled! Yeah, now I can buy a magic potion. Also... If we use our Tune of Currents here, I believe this will take us to the piece of heart we were looking for. Yep. Oh! I did not want to do that, but alright. Sweet. I can't get four of those. Never mind, I thought you needed a very specific dungeon item 
in order to get that one. Alright. So all we need to do is jump down here. And you can see there's a seed right over there. However, the thing is... How are we going to get it over here? Because we can't pull it away from the wall. Well, actually we can. For some reason or another, the switch hook actually will not shatter this seed plot. Even though it will shatter every other thing in existence. But yep. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Mystery seed tree over there. So I'm going to take this opportunity... Okay, that's weird. <laughs> the tune of currents clips through that. I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to the South Shore and appraise my reins. Because we got a lot of reins to appraise. Hey, Vasu. Alright, first up, the Heart Rain Level 2. Recover Lost Hearts. That's what the rain is. I'll add it to your list. I believe that slowly, like, restores your hearts over time. The Gold Joy Rain. This is the one we found in that completely random cave, I believe. Find double items. Yeah, that's a really good one. The Armor Rain Level 1. Damage taken goes down, but your sword damage goes down as well. And the Red Joy Rain. Beasts drop double rupees. Thank you, Vasu. And now I can't buy a potion. Oh well. Also, I believe there is a Gasha tree that I need to uh, cut down over here. Do 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 do. Yep. 200 rupees! Woo! That'll help me buy a magic potion. Alright, now we're gonna warp over to the mystery seed tree we just found over here. The best defense is a good offense. The last one standing wins. Shall I teach you the one thing you need to survive? Yes. Tell this secret to the master at the Subversion Smithy. That. Understand? Yep. Give my, the master my regards. And there's a nice great fairy fountain in here. Later, dude! So yeah, there's a giant waterfall here. We can actually swim inside. And hey, look! It's the dungeon again, huh? This has a keyhole. We do not have the key to get into that dungeon. And there's sea over here. Wow, the ocean goes up a lot higher in the past than in the present. Also, you remember there was that one tree in the present? I told you that the guy would take money from you. Well, in the past, he's feeling a lot more generous, so he'll actually give us money. Shh! Don't tell! Also, there are very few of those in this game. Woohoo! We are rich! Hey, dudes! That Goron dance is way cool! I'm gonna make it popular in Subrosia, too! The Graceful Goron is the bomb! I'm gonna be the Graceful Subrosian! Who are these hood-wearing folk? They've all been asking all about the Goron dance. Oh, so they do wear hoods. The Goron dance gives form to the passionate hearts of Gorons. I'm going to master it someday. But they must be, like, not human underneath it, because they take lava baths in Oracle of Seasons. I can see your destiny. Goron spirit, show me all. Oh my! I see you in the distant future. You are riding in a strange vehicle and shooting things around. Yep, there's a graceful Goron in the past as well. I sit here to protect the peace on Rolling Ridge. Huh? That's a brother emblem! You understand the passion of a Goron's heart! You may pass. 
I know it's abrupt, but can you help me, brother? Protecting Rolling Ridge has given my life meaning. I need an heirloom that will teach my descendants to value life. It'd be great if you could bring me something ununique. The target range is almost as popular as dancing is. The graceful Goron downstairs was bragging about how he found a beautiful key in a waterfall grotto. I'm so jealous. I must have that key. It's the Goron Elder. Hey, dude. The Elder sure is energetic. I can't keep up. I'm going to plant bomb flowers all over Rowing Ridge. Good for you, man. I believe this'll work. Yeah! And we get another hundred rupees! Sweet! We're loaded. Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with the famous Graceful Goron. Really? The Graceful Goron drinks lava juice every day to get energy to dance. I want some, too. Interesting. Alright, now that we've moved that bean, let's go back to the present and climb the vines that will sprout. I like all the puzzles in Ages. Hey man, when my grandpa was younger, he ran a different shop before he opened Target Carts. Interesting. Target Carts, great fun! Welcome to Target Carts! Fire your seat shooter while riding in a cart. If you hit enough targets, you win a prize! Up to three misses wins 20 rupees. Wanna try? It costs 10 rupees. Yep. Okay, let's get you started. The prize this time is this! You're probably wondering what that is. That's a steak. Ready? Go! So, this requires a bit of memorization, but it's not too bad. Yeah! I did make that look easy, though. That's it! You hit 12 of 12! Perfect! Nice shooting! You win a prize! We get the rock brisket! Ready to try again? Yeah, sure! Okay, let's get you started. The prize you can win this time is this. Not what I wanted, but alright, I will work for a Gasha seed. Ready? Go! So there are different levels of difficulty in this game. So as you can see, the targets are now moving, and they're also often in different places. No! Darn it, I missed one. Oh well. Oh, that was almost perfect, but you still get 20 rupees! Alright. There's a special item I want to get from this. Alright, let's get started. The prize is... Not that. So you can see by the obese amount of money that I have that, um... Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. And wouldn't you know it, that really hard one, which I just beat, uh, only actually appears on the boomerang, uh, if the boomerang's the prize. Yeah, I don't even want to tell you how many ties tries it took me in order to get the boomerang, but here it is! We get the boomerang! Use it to stop enemies in their tracks. No, I have done enough target cards for my life. <laughs> so the boomerang, it's nice because, um, it stuns enemies, including Gibdos. So oftentimes, for the really nasty enemies, uh, you can stun them with the boomerang, and they you don't have to worry about them anymore. Alright, we're traveling back to the past to play a different game. This one. This is Goron Gallery! Our same game was a big hit in Luna Village. Right now, we're offering lava juice to one player with an excellent score. Wanna try? It costs 20 rupees. Alright, do you want to hear the rules? Okay, basically, ball comes out, hit, your, hit it with your sword, and it'll go flying. Okay, let's get started. Good luck. Blue blocks give you points, red blocks take away points, fairies give you a ton of points, and then imps take away a ton of points. So for this, just swing your sword like crazy, and I'll hit both of the ones on top. 
that point. If you fail to hit it at all, you get a strike and lose a lot of points. Yeah, hit the fairy. Sweet, that's 100 points. Yes! Oh, that was bad. Two reds, that's minus 20 points. I'll just take the two on the top and get 20 points overall. It's the easiest one to hit. Darn it. The ones at the very edge of the screen are very t tough to hit. Yes, please? 450 points. Amazing! You win the lava juice! And you get lava juice! Wanna try it again? No thanks. Some of the rare- one of the rarest strains in the game, like, you can only get by doing that, and it's a very, very low chance of you actually getting it. And that is the only way you can get that rain, so I don't know how people figured out how to get it. Oh, that was a Deku. I'm surprised it wasn't charging at me. Alright, so... Now we've got some lava juice. So, you'll remember there was a Goron in here who really wanted to try some. Don't tell anyone, but I'm friends with the famous Graceful Goron. Really? What did the Graceful Goron have? Some kind of mermaid-shaped thing? Aw, oh, I forget. Oh, really? He doesn't want the lava juice yet? So, right now, I'm at the, t like, 22-minute mark for the video. I'm cutting out, like, all of the target cards footage, though. <laughs> So it's just going to be like, whoa, Artie suddenly has, like, maxed out money, pretty much. Alright, so, let's see, I've got the... Uh, blah, 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 rock, sirloin, and lava juice. That's right. So you'll remember there was the guy who was like, I'm so hungry. Well, we can give the steak to him. Rock sirloin's a bit too tough for my tastes, personally, but Gorons really like it. Because Gorons are basically giant rocks themselves. They're like sentient rocks, pretty much. For generations, my ancestors have sat here guarding, but I'm hungry. Blah. Whoa, you have prime rock brisket! Please, let me have that rock brisket. I'll trade my ancestors' Goron vase for it. Okay. Thank you, this is great, as promised here. And we get the Goron vase. Oh, this rock brisket is so delicious, thank you. So we are about to create a time paradox right now. So that vase has been passed down from his ancestors all the way to him, and he just gave it to us, and now we're going to give it to his ancestor to pass it down to him. Protecting Rolling Ridge has given my life meaning. I need an heirloom. Whoa, that vase! What a fine Goron vase! Please let me have that vase. I'll trade you some Goronade for it. Okay. Thank you. This is great, as promised here. And we get the Goronade. One quick gulp will keep you awake. I'm going to treasure this vase. So where did the vase originate from? <laughs> I'm about to uh, get hit by an Octorok and I'm just like, ah, it's too much trouble to just move out of the way. I'm just gonna time travel to a different time so it'll miss him. Yeah, where did the vase come from originally? <laughs> Think about it. The fact that it's not, like, a super substantial part of the plot, though, like, I feel like they can get away with that, so... Alright, so this guy up here... Oh, I've worked so many late nights lately, I don't feel up to playing games, and I dug up a great prize, too. Oh, well. That's Goronade! One drink of that charges you up! Will you let me have it? Sure! I'm wide awake now, thanks! I'm gonna open up shop! Wanna give my game a try? The first game's on the house! Wanna try? Yep. Of course! Wanna hear the rules? Uh, basically the rules, he'll throw up, like, a bajillion bombs at you, dodge them all. This time, the prize is this! It's the mermaid key, are you ready? Alright, so I'm just gonna say this right now, having the quicksand ring, uh, makes this game quite a bit easier, but if you don't, you can just use Pegasus Seeds and Rock's Fever. So if you get hit even once, then it's game over. And it just gets insane. I win! That must have cost him a fortune in bombs! 
Amazing! Take your prize! Now we get the old mermaid key! Wanna try again for 10 rupees? No. You don't come play any time. So this guy basically is like, I have a hilariously awesome game. It's like, you're in like a huge pit, and I try to blow you up! It's like, is this Goron like a terrorist or something? Okay, where did he get his hands on all those bombs? Do 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 do! Alright, well, now that we've got the key, we can go to the dungeon. Let's hurry it up. Legend of Zelda! Alright, are you guys ready? It's level 6, the Mermaid's Cave! This place has seen better days, and we're gonna have to leave the episode off there. Thanks for watching, I'm Color40, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great day, and God bless.